Okay, we're back um, talking about Jewish books, Jewish history, and unlike our first uh, video, which dealt with a non-controversial Sefer, um, Sefer Amin Hagim, by Rabbi Yitzchak Tirna, Isaac Tirna, this video is going to deal with a somewhat uh, more controversial uh, book, uh, Sefer, and that is Sefer Ben Sira. Um, now, for many of um, my viewers, Sefer Ben Sira may not sound familiar. But the fact is, um, this book, Sefer Ben Sira, came pretty close to being included in the, 20, in the canon of Jewish scripture. We know today there are 24 books in the Jewish uh, scripture, or Hebrew scriptures, Tereshebik Sav, so to speak. There was another book very similar to Mishle, uh, Proverbs in English, and that is Sefer Ben Sira, which was written by a Jewish uh, scribe, sage, before the destruction of the temple, the Hurban uh, by Yesheni. However, for reasons that are still somewhat murky, this book, Ben Sira, which is around 50 chapters long and very similar to Proverbs, Mishle, um, did not make it into the canon of um, Tereshevik Sav. Now, I first learned about Ben Sira, which in English is known by the name Ecclesiasticus, not to be confused with Ecclesiastes, uh, which is Kahelis. Um, Ecclesiasticus is Ben Sira. Now, I first came to the realization that there was such a book when in Yeshiva, when we studied Talmud, I, not, I, met, I recognized that the Talmud mentioned a few times as it's written in the book Ben Sira. But I didn't know what it was. I was 17, 18, 19, and it took me a number of years um, to find out what that was. The facts are as follows. Ben Sira was for the most part preserved in the church, in the Christian church, and it is part of the Apocrypha in some Christian uh, denominations. However, in the Jewish tradition, because it was not part of the Torah Shevik Sav, it was um, somewhat sidelined, and it was considered Svarim Chitzainim, Svarim books outside the Bible, outside the Torah. But as I said before, the Talmud does uh, recognize its importance and quotes from it a number of times. So the main place in the Talmud where the book Ben Sira is mentioned is in Sanhedrin 100b, Kuf Omid Beis. And if you look, I printed out here, if you look in Sanhedrin Kuf Omid Beis, uh, Rav Yosef says that uh, one should not study the book of Ben Sira. However, he goes on to say that, uh, that good parts of the book could be expounded upon. Um, so I'll give you, this is in Sanhedrin Kuf Amid Beis, Rav Yosef says, Amar Rav Yosef, Mili me'al yasa de is bei darshin on lehu. Even, uh, we, we teach the superior matters that are in it, even in public. Rav Yosef says, we're allowed to expound and teach the good parts of Ben Sira, and he gives an example. He says, Isha toiva matana toiva b'cheik gireya lekim tinose. Isha ra tsaras labayla maita kante yigarshena mi beitha vi thrape mi tsarase. Isha yapa ashre bayla misbar yam of kiflayim. These are various uh, statements, sayings from the book of Mansira. They translate as follows. A good wife is a good gift. She will be given into the bosom of a God-fearing man. That's from Ben Sira 26.3. A bad wife is leprosy for her husband. What is his remedy? He shall chase her from his house and will be healed from his leprosy. This is from the book of Ben Sira 25.30. A beautiful wife, happy is her husband. The number of his, de of his days is doubled. That's from Ben Sira 26.1. Chapter 26, verse 1. Now, you may ask, do we have today the book, the entire book of Ben Sira in Hebrew? Recall, the book of Ben Sira was written before the destruction of the temple in Hebrew. For, however, for 
many years, approximately 2,000 years, um, we did not have the whole book, so to speak, but in the year 1900, about two-thirds of the book of Ben Sira, the original Hebrew, was found in the Cairo Geniza in Egypt, in, um, in Cairo. And later, in 1950s, certain sections, a number of small sections of the book of Ben Sira was found in Masada and in the Dead Sea Scrolls, a few fragments. Now, the best book for those that want to read the book of Ben Sira in Hebrew is this book right here. The book of Ben Sira in Hebrew. And um, this book was not written by a Jew or put together by a Jew, but it was put together by the scholar Benchies. And let me show you what this looks like. 